dearest and beloved leader, Thunderfoot. Ah, oh, no, not you. Why must I talk to this fucking tumor? It's Jenny McDumbledorf. Yes, I call her Dumbledorf. <laughs> and what do you mean, beloved leader? What, is Thunderfoot somehow the leader of atheism all of a sudden? Does he speak out for all atheists? Allow me to explain to you what it is like being a female member of your audience. Did I miss something? Because... You know, it, from the looks of it, it sounds like you're saying there's a super fan club filled with females and you're like one of those major speakers in Thunderfoot's special female army, I guess. Like, what did I miss? At first, I found you through Twitter when I began to make more connections online with YouTube Atheists. After watching a few of your atheist videos, I was on board and I subscribed. Being a new YouTuber, I decided to make a video about feminism in which I discuss Anita Sarkeesian. I was naive to the fact that this action would incur the wrath of angry, hateful males who, rather than have any actual form of discourse with me, chose to harass me and call me slut, whore, or cunt. This is not entirely true, Jenny. I've made two videos destroying your fucking videos. And what have you done? Instead of responding to my videos, instead all you have done is literally just made fun of me. Seriously, you have done nothing but made fun of other YouTubers rather than actually providing any evidence to back up your fucking claims. And I would like to point out that in one of my videos, I left a link in the description about a video where it literally talks about how video games and violence have nothing in common. And guess what Jenny did? She completely dismisses it. That's right, she has not even bothered to look at the facts. And instead, what she has done is literally fucking insult me. Oh, but they would rave about you. They said that if I wanted to know about this liar who was trying to take their video games away, it would do me good to visit your channel. What if Men Acted Like Feminists was a video you made where you copied the style of feminist frequency and equated the violence against men in the film Kill Bill to the objectification Sarkeesian addresses in games like Grand Theft Auto where hookers can be made to fillet the player and can then be run over after being thrown from the player's vehicle. And in the same fucking game, you have to torture a man for information. And this is not some sort of bonus shit. It's not even a side mission, but an actual story mission that you have no choice but to do. But you're keeping your mouth shut because guess what? Violence towards men is completely okay. But violence towards women, mm -mm, that's where you gotta cross the line. And keep in mind that these players do not have to run over these prostitutes. They don't even have to interact with the prostitutes at all. They can completely leave them alone. This sort of stuff is completely optional. And don't even get me started with the online servers in GTA 5 because guess what? There are fucking codes where you can do the exact same thing to men. You have no actual objection to the violence in Kill Bill. It doesn't affect you in any way. And yet killing women in GTA 5 does? How? You just try to make it seem as if it's a good argument for your audience members to recite. Here's a major difference between you and Sarkeesian. She makes an argument against a normalization of violence against women. Something she believes to be affecting society negatively. So let me get this straight. This video game, GTA 5, normalizes violence towards women because you get to kill hookers. That's, that's about it. You know, it, it's basically okay to kill women, to rape women. But when it comes to men, yeah, yeah, we cross the line from there. But it's completely okay to kill women. That is the message that you're trying to send. That Society is completely okay of killing women or raping women because of games like GTA 5. But it, it, the same does not apply when it comes to men. 
How pathetically stupid can you be? A true cause to fight for. And you exist only to thwart her attempt at this. Jesus Christ, you might as well be wearing a fucking tinfoil hat in every freaking video that you ever make. You make arguments against her for no other reason than to defame the work that she's done. Are you fucking serious? Thunderfoot has made video after video after video going into extreme detail on how Anita Sarkeesian is wrong, has provided evidence to back up his claim showing that Anita Sarkeesian is completely and absolutely wrong. And you're telling me that Thunderfoot is making these videos just to defame her. And for what reason? Why? Jeez, I don't know. Maybe for the views? Maybe for the subscribers? Really? Is this really what you think? I see you're starting to take lessons from Bewildered Ape. Because, you know, fuck evidence. Fuck your evidence. Anita Sarkeesian is a fucking god. She doesn't have to climb down her throne just to deal with you fucking peasants. No, 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 no. She is the perfect human being. I don't want to hear about her Kickstarter or how you are upset that she has not made enough films to satisfy you. What do you mean it doesn't matter? It fucking does matter. Anita Sarkeesian has almost $500,000 in her fucking pocket. And guess what? What is she doing right now? She's going on news articles and being a complete professional victim. And guess what? All those news articles, including one of the biggest ones, ABC News, taking her side because guess what? She's a woman and therefore people need to listen to her. Holy fucking shit. By the time that she's done with her video series, guess what? I'm going to have children that are capable of learning perfect English. It's been almost three years and she's not even halfway done with her video series. Are you fucking kidding me? Or how she uses other players' recorded video clips. She has all those fucking games and it's not enough. She needs to borrow and what I mean borrow, I mean fucking steal Let's Play footages because why not? Which begs the question, why even bother begging for money when you could just steal Let's Play footages from other people? These things do not matter. They do not. Because it doesn't matter on how long your project takes. May it be 20 or even 40 years. What matters is you're fighting for equality. That's all it that matters. It does not matter how she spends her Kickstarter money, just as it doesn't matter that you make janky science videos with your Patreon money. So let me get this straight. If Anita Sarkeesian was to use the Kickstarter money to buy a fucking car that's covered in fucking gold, it wouldn't matter because she's a feminist. She shows instances of violence against sexualized women and says we should stop this. Why the fuck should we stop? Why the fuck should we stop hurting pixels in order to prevent the normalization of violence towards women? Why? Because somehow video games and violence towards women are somehow linked because Anita Sarkeesian says so? Now, splash some cold water on your face and move on. This video, What If Men Acted Like Feminists, was the first video of yours I commented on. You are making society take a step backward when you make videos like this. A lot of young, impressionable men out there, and you are filling their heads with hate. You serious? <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> you are creating a very large anti-feminist hate group on YouTube. That was my comment. There are 250 replies, so I won't go through them all, but here are a few of the worst. They weren't all bad. Time Wolf says, good retard. Jude Herbert says, now Jenny McDermott, shut up, get back in the kitchen, and I want a nice chilled mug of beer with that sandwich. Chop chop, bitch. And then later says, I don't think there will be a lot of thought coming from this feminazi. 
Thought and corrupt females like this do not mix. Will Barker says, You are literally lying. This is bit for bit identical to those brain dead feminazis. Now these are only a few examples. And as I said, the few at the beginning were not bad, but I also had to block and report an, a particularly violent user who threatened to rape me. Let me remind you that this is the first video of yours I had commented on. Oh, the fucking horror! You have said something very, very stupid, and what you got was a backlash of negativity. Oh, the fucking horror! Guess what? It happens towards everyone! The other day, I made a crappy two-minute video regarding Bewildered Apes comment section. Crappy is sort of an understatement right there, because when it comes to your videos, it's more than just crappy. It's unbearable. Which you commented on. I then received a threat of doxing by a male user named Anita Bonghit, and was threatened by a man named God-fearing conservative that he had trained his bulldog to kill people. And if I didn't apologize to you, that that would be my fate. So, I'm going to use your own logic here. If this hate group known as Thunderfoot wants to threaten violent attacks upon me for being a feminist, then the only cure for their terroristic attacks is to be more of a feminist. It is this group that you are a part of that is a violent extremist group. This is so pathetically fucking stupid. It's not even worth responding to. The group called Thunderfoot is an extremist group of people. Not, not, not one person, but a group of people as if like if some sort of fucking hive mind is nothing more than an extremist fucking group that is willing to dox and harass the living shit out of one woman. I am at a lost of fucking words, and all I have to say is, holy shit, this woman is incredibly fucking stupid. You mention YouTubers that you dislike in your videos, and you use active speech to clue your subscribers into just how much you despise your subject of disapproval. You say words like, feminism in a vile manner. Feminism has done nothing more but do more harm towards men than it does help men become better people. That's about it. So it's completely justified to say feminism in a vile manner like this. FEMINISM! You say words like social justice warriors with hatred. SOCIAL JUSTICE WARRIORS! <laughs> Words that in fact mean nothing wrong at all, you have applied a connotation to, that misinforms your subscribers as to their actual meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw the actions of the overall movement of feminists and social justice warriors, because guess what? What matters the most is the definition of feminism. And the definition of feminism means it's for equality. Therefore, feminism is good. Equality is good. Feminism is it's basically a perfect ideology that no one should oppose. And to oppose feminism is to oppose perfection. The men and boys that you are guiding are picking up cues from the way you allow your comment section to play out. You act as a deity that leaves the video there and walks away. Okay, let me point this out right now. Your green screen fucking sucks. Why the fuck do you even use a green screen? What the fuck's the point? It's not like you have a plain fucking background. You chose a random picture of a kid sucking on some ice cream or maybe an icicle or something like that. I can't really tell because you're blocking on what's, what he's sucking on. What the fuck is the point? Even Essence of Thought has a better use of a green screen than you do. At least with him, he used it as, you know, just to add a plain fucking background. He doesn't add some random background to do whatever. Hell, I don't do that unless I really want to. It wouldn't be some random picture of a kid. It'd be an animated background.
And also, let me point this out, that I've subscribed to Thunderfoot, obviously, for far longer than you have, Jenny McDumbledorf, and I'm still calling you Dumbledorf. <laughs> and I do not see Thunderfoot as a god. I don't see him as a deity. I don't see him as a king. I don't see him as someone to be worshipped. I see him as a normal human being with rationality. Far more rationality than Anita Sarkeesian will ever have. But not because you don't want the drama of the YouTube comment section. Because you want it to be a violent place where people can practice hate speech. This is so stupid, it's not even worth commenting on. Which you dub to be free speech in order to make yourself appear to be progressive. But it's just more Kill Bill with you. You could give a shit about free speech. You just use it to your advantage. Uh, I just realized this. He don't care about evidence. Hell, even if all the evidence was right in front of you, you're just going to say, what evidence? You know, you're the type of person that would deny the truth no matter how hard it is presented to you. Where are you even coming up with these conspiracy theories? That's what you want to believe in, in fucking conspiracy theories. And I wonder, is even making a video about you even worth it at this point? Because it seems to me that you're acting like bewildered ape. Just come up with crazy conspiracy theories and then you get lots and lots of views. I mean, if that's what it takes to be extremely loved on YouTube, then I could pretty much do the exact same thing. Like... Uh, I might as well start telling boogeyman stories about how feminists crawl onto your bed and, you know, will eat you at night. <sighs> Jenny, you are one stupid human being. And I am saying this in the bottom of my fucking heart. You use it to protect you in your hateful rape apology videos and obsessive Sarkeesian tirades. You know, all I can do is just insult you, Jenny. I mean, like, there's really no other way for me to make a video about you than just completely insult you. Because you provide literally no evidence. Your arguments is basically conspiracy theories that are too stupid to even debunk. It debunks itself. Based on your logic used in the recent Hebdo massacre, all Muslims are a terrible hate group based on the actions of a few. That is completely fucking wrong because the entire premise of his entire video is that only the Muslims are willing to go this fucking far to kill someone in the name of God. Okay, so Thunderfoot is a hate group. Its members are violent bullies who agree with rape. What is the solution to dealing with these kinds of groups? Do exactly what offends them, or else they'll win. If you're a feminist, start making more videos about violence against women. Leave more comments in your comment section. Possibly alert authorities to the nature of your violent group. Maybe even alert your employer, well, former employer, who the public knows about because you decided to make that information public. Thunderfoot is not a hate group. It's a fucking person, you fucking dumb broad. Oh, oh the stupid is strong in this one. You are not the victim here. You are the aggressor. You are the villain. Take your medicine. I'm just done, you know? I'm not gonna do it anymore. This is, this is too stupid to even respond to. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.